YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0IQJ. Now, in last video, if you haven't seen it, um, I showed you how to program digital repeater into this HD1 radio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put an analog repeater in just to help with the people that have just bought the radio and want to transmit an analog. Now, I prefer analog, audio sounds better, you don't sound like a robot. And if the signal's not strong enough, you still hear what's going on. Just a bit scratchy, you don't need all the stuttering and the, and the robot noises when you're out of range of the repeater. So, how do we go about programming an analog repeater? Well, the one we're going after is my local uh, repeater. It's about 10 miles away. And that's GB3VH at uh, Wedding Garden City. And that's on a 77 band. Receives on 433325. Transmits on 434925 has a plus 1.6 offset and 82.5 kilohertz tone so how do you go about entering all that into the radio well the first things first you want to turn them on using the switch at the top there and you can see I'm in frequency mode and it's on DMR if you're in channel mode like this one then just press exit to get to frequency mode and if you're in DMR mode Press and hold exit. So we need to enter in our receive frequency. So that's four, three, 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 two, five. You can see it entered in zero, zero for me. Push the menu button. And we want the band set A, push menu. And we're gonna go shift up. And press menu, we're gonna select plus. Push menu. And shift frequency, gonna enter in O one six O O and press confirm. So menu again. We're going to scroll up again. I'm going to go to T C D C. Now I found if I change all this, so these ones to eighty two point five, next to eighty two point five, the repeater drops out. So all I do is I stick it on T C D C. Press menu. And I need to push the scan button. So at the moment that says DO30N, that's the DCS tones, and that's off, going to push the scan button again, and that says 62.5, using the dial at the top there, the channel switch, we're going to change it to 82.5, and we are going to push confirm, so if we push exit, and that's on 433325, when we push the transmit button, it should be 434925, which we've done. Now we need to save that into its memory. So we're going to push the menu button, going to go main set, and we're going to keep scrolling down. And we're going to go save ch, and like last week, with the dot at the top, scroll through, so the ch disappears. Save the channel 11. And we're going to push the menu and type in G B three and B can we now focus in H and we're just going to push confirm. Save channel, push the menu button again. And we're going to keep pushing exit. And there we go, if we push exit again, that goes into the channel mode. Scroll through. So you see, I've got it twice in there. So that's the one we just programmed in. Channel 11, GB3V8. Now I've already got it programmed in on channel one, that's the first one I programmed in. And that was how to program a analog repeater into this radio. Now, next week's video, I've been given, scroll turn on the camera, this OliWiz radio from Fred in the Shed. He wants me to test it on UHF and VHF. He wants to test it on two and 77s. So I'll be going out and about in a week testing this radio out so you should see what the radio looks like and how well it performs on the 270 bands. Thank you to all my new subscribers. If you click the bell icon, 
uh, it notifies you when I do new videos so push the subscription icon push the bell icon and it'll notify you when I upload a new video which is usually uh, every Monday around about half past 11 so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching thank you very much to all my new subscribers and I'll see you in the next video 73's this is 2E0 IQJ cheers and beers bye bye bye